He want my number, had to hit him with the mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Fantasizing, got him fiending for this mm -hmm. Thick thighs, got him busting out the jeans Yeah, real dope Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dom Zawali and I know I've been slacking. I know I am so sorry guys, but I try to give you updates as the days and the weeks go by that I think would be helpful to you guys in any way. Me being a stay at home mom and my husband, he took off for two weeks straight and he was able to take care of my child so I can get the proper rest and the proper recovery that I needed for those two weeks. The last time I updated you was when my husband was actually home. Now that my husband works and he doesn't work a regular nine to five job, he is in the military and he also has a civilian job that is a 12 hour shift. So a bitch has been tired, okay? <laughs> I am officially one month post-op. I feel like I just had surgery yesterday, which is unbelievable that my healing process has been absolutely amazing. I didn't want to give you a full update until I actually seen Dr. K in person for my three week post-op appointment. During that appointment he said that my recovery, my healing has been going great. Whatever I'm doing to maintain my figure and all with fajas, with massages, mind you, I'm only doing self massages. I haven't paid anybody a damn dime. My husband has been doing my massages and I have been doing my massages at home. And he said that I am doing freaking amazing. So give me my brownie points. Thank you. <laughs> but he took off the bandages for my tummy tuck. It looks freaking amazing. He did leave my bandages on my boobs he said that's going to fall off on its own but other than that i have been doing great my recovery is great and whatever i'm doing he said to keep doing you guys know that i got my tributal last week but i want to make sure dr k was okay with me using the tributal because of the ribs and because I literally can't fit any of my lipo phones in here. Like, thank God I'm able to fit my ab board and my back board, but lipo phones, I'm able to fit one, one lipo phone in the front. That's about it. I can't fit anything else in here. I could barely fit my hand <laughs> in my tributal. So I wanted to make sure he gave me the green light first before I went down that road on switching my fajas because of the rods that are there. I didn't want to ruin my healing process. And he gave me the green light, so I put that bad boy on right in his office. <laughs> I left there looking super duper duper snatched because of my tributal, and I will be doing a review on that. So definitely, definitely, definitely stay tuned for that. Week three was kind of challenging because like I said, I had to adjust to my husband being at work. So it was only me and my two-year-old running around in the house. And I feel like that helped my recovery process because I have really had no choice but to get up and run with not really run but to uh, walk behind my child and make sure that she was safe my recovery process it wasn't hard when my husband went back to work which was what I was so nervous about to begin with was when he goes back to work what am I gonna do am I going to be able to take care of my child by myself because I can't lift anything above 10 pounds my daughter is 35 pounds I believe so you know damn why I can't lift her and then I have two dogs as well that I have to walk and they're not little rookies or anything like that I got two full grown fucking pit bulls that are well over 65 pounds and all of that was really nerve-wracking to me so the first week by myself I really had to adjust. I wasn't in any pain. I surprisingly went back to how it was before I got surgery. I was able to take care of my child. I was able to cook and clean and do whatever. It just took me a little bit longer than it usually does. I still use my walker for the first couple of days out of my uh, three week recovery time. I had to take naps when my husband was home. It, it was a struggle to say the least. It wasn't like, traumatic where I had to have my husband stay home for another week. I was completely fine. So week 
three was just an adjustment stage on if somebody is taking care of you and you're so used to them being home and them being able to come to your need whenever you're not there anymore so you gotta whatever you gotta do to roll out of bed or whatever the case may be that's what you're gonna have to do so that's just the adjustment period week three in my opinion week four i feel like myself again i did my hair it's I mean, obviously, <laughs> I just retwisted it yesterday. If you guys don't know, if you don't do your own hair, my hair takes me a while. And that's even before I was a mom. Now that I'm a mom, oh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know how long my hair took yesterday. I posted a story that it was a wash and retwist day at like, I don't know, eight o'clock. Why did I get done my hair at 6.30? Like, <laughs> what are you doing but i got my hair done i did my hair next is my nails i will be doing these tomorrow hopefully don't quote me on it i'm a whole mom remember that i am able to walk faster <laughs> i am able to laugh i'm still scared to cough don't get me wrong you see me try to sneeze out you'll see me hold it in and start talking to myself like nah 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 we ain't gonna do that today i'm able to laugh and be okay i can do a little <coughs> to clear my throat and i'll be okay the muscle repair is not killing me like it was before like i told you my first time coughing after i got this muscle repair i literally thought i was gonna explode this week i feel a little bit more confident in my stomach i'm able to to cough a little bit stronger than before. I'm able to laugh with my belly like ha <laughs> like that. It's just the little things of my recovery that is making me feel like myself again. I am able to go grocery shopping and not freaking be the slow poke of my husband and daughter and my two year old just looking at me like come on mom like you walking slow as hell like my legs are way shorter than yours and you're all the way back here like come on come on let's go like she was literally saying mommy like hurry up <laughs> to me but this week i am able to keep up with everybody the only thing i can say that's been hell for me is my boobs itch like hell like they itch so bad i really want to just rip my freaking skin apart i had an anchor lift which is dr k cut around my areolas there's a line down and then underneath here i have a little uh, i have a scar right here too but this part right here oh it it's just so bad it's just so bad i'm spitting all over the place like <laughs> I'm just so stressed it's it just now the recovery process like i told you guys has been basically a breeze for me so i don't want to update you guys every single day every single week to bore you you guys gonna be like all right like this bitch is uneventful this bitch is boring and you guys stop watching my channel like we, we ain't about to do all that i'm not about to bore you to death i'm not gonna hold you like i said the last time i'm gonna just update you guys as things go and progress if you guys have any questions you know already to hit me up dm me leave a comment below and all as you can see my scar is lightening up and fading I still have some scabs here. I'm still swollen in my flank areas, as you can see on the sides. My stomach is super duper flat, but right here, you see this area right here? On both sides, they're like that. And it's super swollen and super tender. All the way up to right here, it hurts so bad where my my drains were you can see like an indentation i don't know if you guys can see that right here but there's like an indentation there and like a little bulge and that's swollen too on both sides this is more swollen than this side is other than that my belly button's healing fine my boobs like i told you guys my boobs itch like hell as you can see they did drop but they don't move. They move like this, but they're still in place. They are softening up. They're not as hard, but still, I still have some time with these. My hips are a little tender now. I wasn't able to feel any type of pain or anything in my hips until recently. They're just a little tender, especially when I press on the area where I got my fat my fat has definitely softened I don't feel any type of hardness except on this side a little bit 
but it's not noticeable at all like it was before. It was legit like a straight boulder on my hips. forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already if you have thank you guys so much i love you guys so much and i will definitely see you next time bye guys